So the economic situation we're currently in, I think a lot of people assume is just what happens, right? Yeah, people think the economy is like the weather. The economy is not the weather. Uh, it's not a set of uncontrollable forces that we just have to sort of try to protect ourselves from as much as possible. People set the rules for capitalism. Greed's been with us forever, and there have always been businessmen setting the rules to favor themselves. So what was holding them back? In the middle of the 20th century, norms and laws set the different standard and understanding in terms of what Americans expected. That basically was a social contract between business, government, and labor that said, you know what, we're all going to do our part to ensure that we all have a pretty decent standard of living. And you had really strong labor unions that gave workers a real voice in the conditions of their work and of the business practices and business strategies. It wasn't just the generosity of the CEOs that made capitalism a little more humane. It was that the labor movement fought a fight and the government backed them up with worker laws, workers' rights laws. Those laws, in addition to mid-century norms, are what kept my grandfather and other CEOs in check. I remember talk around the dinner table about the notorious strike way back in 1941, when nearly every worker walked off the job to protest unfair pay. Grandpa and Uncle Walt didn't like being told what to do by anyone, but they didn't have a choice. Walt did everything he possibly could, but unions were incredibly powerful. And so Walt Disney had to capitulate. 